good morning long time no see over here on team darley i just got ready for the day and i figured i would film today so i'm about to go head to target probably chick-fil-a too well i am gonna go to chick-fil-a um and i'll show you guys what i'm eating that stays within my macros you are gonna be so shocked at what i'm eating today and it all works within my macros the only thing i've had so far this morning is a cup of coffee and i put two scoops of vital protein collagen peptides in that and a little bit of unsweetened almond milk and a stevia packet so that's all i use in my coffee that way my fasting window i end up breaking that around 11. we'll see what time it is when i get to chick-fil-a because it's already 10 30. um i've gotten a lot done this morning already made my bed folded some laundry started some laundry in the washing machine put up the clean dishes out of the dishwasher, put the dirty dishes in the dishwasher. Um, got a little bit of editing done for a video over on my Amy Darley channel where I have a lot of like cleaning motivation, um, organizing, decluttering, home decor, all that kind of stuff over there. So I was working on editing a video for over there and now I am starting to feel hungry. Like I said, it's 1030. So I'm thinking I'm going to go to Chick-fil-A first and then go to Target. I have an order to pick up, but I think I'm going to actually go into Target because I haven't been in like two weeks. It's kind of crazy. I think it's been two weeks because it was before Christmas when I went last time. Um, I've done a pickup order, but I haven't actually gone into the store in a, in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to go in. I want to look at all the snack stuff because we are completely out of snacks for the kids and they usually have really good seasonal snacks. Um, I always love getting different things to just kind of make little mixes for the kids to take to school. So I'm going to look at snacks. I'm also going to look at um, like the dollar spot because I know that obviously Christmas isn't out anymore. So I want to see what they have there. I've seen some really cute stuff, but usually my target is not very good with putting things out quickly like a lot of other targets do and then whenever I go it's usually always picked over so I'll try to share with you some of that stuff so we'll do kind of like a little shop with me and haul um, my pickup stuff is kind of like household items like um, I was getting some Tide laundry detergent but the powdered kind um, a few other things. So I'll share that stuff when I get back and share with you the haul. But I wanted to share this shirt. It is from Walmart. It's the Time and True brand. It's got like a little pocket and it's kind of like a tie-dye looking blue color. I'll show it to you in the mirror too. But this thing was like, I think eight bucks or something. I'll link it below. But I was so excited when I found this one. Um, I found a few other things, but they were only in store. So I'm gonna have to go in store to get those. So um, maybe in my next video, I'll do like a little Walmart haul or something, but I also got this little athletic outfit for Gracie June. It's so cute. It looks like something I would want to wear. So here's like the little pullover and then it has the little pants to go with it. And this came as a set. Um, I want to say it was like 10 or $11, something like that. So I thought that was really cute. I also ordered her some, um, let me turn you around. I also ordered her some sneakers, but they haven't come in yet. I think that they will be here today, maybe. And if they get here today, I'll show you those. They're super, super cute. But let me show you in the mirror what I have on before I leave. All right, focus. All right, so this is what the shirt looks like just for length reference. It's kind of a little bit longer in the back, not too much longer. Um, and then these are the same leggings that I always talk about. I love, 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 love these leggings. They are amazing. They're from Amazon. Um, I wash them regular, but then I let them dry, like air dry. And then my shoes are also Walmart. So I've had these since last year, but um, I'll link all the stuff below in case you're interested in checking it out. My jacket's on the ground. Whoops. So this is my old Navy jacket. That I'm gonna be wearing with this my folded laundry from today yay anyways I am about to run to Target actually Chick-fil-a then Target so here we go all right so I am at Target I just pulled up and I'm about to eat my spicy chicken sandwich and I have a large diet dr. pepper and yes this fits in my macros and I'm gonna show you guys later on my phone I've put everything into my phone I put it in my fitness pal 
and I pay for that each month so that way I can actually see my macros and I don't have to like physically add anything up myself I just stick it in there and it does all the macros for me so it adds it up I have my goals and all that kind of stuff in there it's super easy to do and this fits my macros and then I actually I didn't get anything else with it I just got the sandwich so it's 11:52 right now I'm about to break my fast with a spicy chicken sandwich and then um, later on today um, probably in a few hours I'm gonna end up doing another meal that I got from Clean Eats and they have a shop here in Savannah it's Clean Eats Savannah and they make these meals weekly and you can actually order them and go pick them up which is what I did but I didn't realize until this last week that there's a Clean Eats kitchen and you can actually order meals online and they come to you frozen they're the exact same meals that I would pick up in the store but they actually ship them to you and the shipping is free so and they have a lot more options on there to choose from it's not necessarily the same meals every week but there's a ton of different options so you can choose on the website what ones you want which of all the meals that I've done so far I really really like the buffalo chicken mac and cheese and that one is on the website so I'm gonna order some of those I think this next time instead of ordering from the one in Savannah just because I feel like it'll be easier for shipping you know what I mean so you usually if you do the pickup in Savannah I have to pick up on Mondays and it's like a 30 minute drive from our house 30 35 minute drive to get to the shop so sometimes chance is in town excuse me sometimes chance is in town on Mondays and so he'll just pick them up for me but that's not every single Monday so I don't want to just drive all the way into town to pick them up when I can just order online and save myself some time so anyways just thought I would share that because those are so good and they are smaller meals so it's like one meal per person it's it's a serving per person it's not gonna feed like you and your husband or your family or whatever but anyways I'm gonna eat my chick-fil-a I've already gotten the notification that my pickup order is ready so I'm gonna eat my chick-fil-a I actually have it's raining so I have a rain jacket in the back I'm gonna throw that on when I go into Target I'll film in there a little bit show you guys some things that I find that I love and then I am gonna go back home so anyways stay tuned all right so I started in the Target dollar spot and as you can see it was pretty bare they were just starting to put out all the Valentine's Day stuff they had a lot of really cute Valentine's that you could hand out but that was about it in this section but I did see if you wanted to do like a fairy tale themed bedroom for a little girl they had a bunch of stuff for that it was super cute affordable decor these were like three dollars each so I wanted to share this stuff really quick They were also starting to put out bathing suits and spring clothes, so that made me happy. And then I checked out a lot of the Valentine's Day pillows. They were super cute. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna actually do any Valentine's Day stuff this year, um, especially pillows and stuff like that, but they did have a lot of cute options. Now, how cute are these little heart-shaped waffle makers and these mugs? I love them. Um, I definitely found that all the Valentine's Day stuff was just sporadic around my store. It wasn't all put together, but they did have a lot of really cute stuff. And then here you can see they started putting out a lot of spring items in the kitchen area. These are some little picnic lunch boxes and stuff. I absolutely love these prints. Now the next section was just like the Opal House Threshold um, hearth and hand section the hearth and hand section honestly it was still a lot of the same stuff that they had already had out so I really didn't film in there but I fell in love with these lamps and actually took pictures of them because I might have to go back and get them later and then the last section that I went to today was like the actual Valentine's Day section and so I thought I would show you guys all this stuff they had some really really cute things and I wanted to share this section because this is where I usually go for all the Valentine's Day um, boxes and the Valentine's that the kids will actually hand out or things that I get for the kids because I feel like they have so many more options back here than the ones that are in the dollar spot. So definitely check out this stuff. They have a lot of snacks back here too. So I'm gonna show you all these. 
Um, this section right here, I thought this would be great to put with like little teacher Valentine's Day gifts. So I did pick up a few of these things and look at these. These are so cute. They're little chocolates, but they say, I love every layer of you and look like cakes and donuts and bananas, avocados. Like I thought those are all so cute. But anyways, they just had a lot of options. And then when I left the Valentine's section, I noticed they were putting out spring stuff, which makes me so excited. All right, I am back home, still in my rain jacket. And by the way, this rain jacket is also from Walmart. Can you guys tell I love to shop at Walmart and Target? Um, also, when I got home, Gracie June's shoes had arrived. So this is what they look like. Aren't they so cute? They are Wonder Nation, and I want to say they were like 10 bucks. I can't remember. They might have been a few dollars more, but I'll link them in case you guys want to check these out for your little ones. These are a little girl's size 13. Um, I know that they went through, I think that they went through bigger, like bigger girl sizes, but um, I don't know exactly what size they went to. But anyways, Okay, so I have my Target pickup order is in there, and so basically I just got like laundry detergent, I told you. Um, I got some toothpaste, mouthwash, like all of those kind of things, the little necessities, um, paper towels, things like that. So nothing like super fun and interesting, but I did get a $10 gift card for spending $40. They had like a couple of promotions today. They had like a, you spend 40 bucks on, it was like household items and you get a $10 gift card. So I got that. And then they also had a $5 gift card when you bought three or more of a certain type of item. And that was with the like mouthwash and the toothpaste, that kind of stuff. So I got a 15, I got $15 in gift cards today for buying things that I needed anyways. But I went ahead and got some stuff in the Valentine's day section. I told y'all I was going to get some stuff for snacks and that's, stuff that you know I'm gonna be putting in their snacks for school each day and they'll probably last me through the next month but I also went ahead and bought some stuff for Valentine's Day I didn't get the kids Valentine's like what I'm gonna actually get for them usually I get them some sort of like candy and I don't know usually I go to Target or Walmart sometimes TJ Maxx and find something really cute for them but just something little for Valentine's Day but I went ahead, I asked Gracie June's teacher if they were gonna have to make boxes for Valentine's Day because usually they do, and she said yes. So I ended up picking up, I showed you guys this one on camera, but it's a little, it'll look like a little rainbow. And the kids will just stick their Valentine's inside of that box. So we'll make this together. Um, I got these little veggie straws and they're in heart shapes. I got most of these snacks last year so I know that they already love them. Um, I got these for their teachers and I'll probably put something else with it but just some hugs and kisses and then this one is a Reese's Peanut Butter Cup shaped rose. I thought that was so cute. I don't remember seeing those last year. They also had the, you know how they have like the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup eggs and the trees and the pumpkins. Well, they had hearts this year and I don't remember seeing hearts last year. I remember the eggs, but I don't remember seeing hearts at least like at our Target, but I did see those. So we still have a lot of Christmas trees left. Don't know how, but we do. All right, another little snack that my kids love are pretzels so i always get these um x's and o's shaped pretzels to throw in their snacks for school and then the heart shaped gummies and they actually are shaped like hearts so those are cute there are a lot of snacks in the in the like seasonal snack section and you just kind of have to be careful like some of them they'll have like on the outside of the package it'll look like valentine's day but basically just the packaging is Valentine's Day. But I like to get the snacks that are actually, you know, like the heart shapes and the X's and the O's. Things that are actually Valentine's Day when they eat them because I take these out and make little trail mixes with them. And so they're in a Ziploc bag. They're not in the actual packaging whenever I do it. So 
And then plus I do like to have these out. We have kids over at our house all the time. So I like to have fun little snacks for them when they come over. All right, so the next thing I got, I went ahead and picked up. Last year I tried to wait a while to get the kids the Valentine's that they were gonna hand out. And I was like, okay, y'all wanna go with me to Walmart? And they really did not wanna go. So I was like, you know what? I know that they're gonna love these things. I saw them in there today. And so I went ahead and just picked them up. And then if for some reason they absolutely hate them, then I can always take them back. But I figure they're probably gonna like them. So for Kaysen's, I got these, it's the Nerf brand and they're just little hearts they and they have candy inside but they look kind of like baseballs footballs and soccer balls so that's what I got for him and then of course it comes in a pack of 22 I think that he has like 26 kids in his class so I had to get two of these but I was thinking for the extras that we have for this Gracie June could actually use some of them to hand out to the boys in her class because um, for her, I got these little, they're LOL, it says 24 count friendship exchange with strawberry lollipops. So just the little LOL doll things and then they have, it's actually just the, it's got a lollipop with it but it's just the little Valentine's Day cards. I didn't do anything too crazy. They don't go crazy at our schools, and so I'm actually excited about that. But this one has 24, so she has enough for the, for her class. And so I figured if we, with the extra ones, we could just give to the boys because I'm not sure the boys are gonna like LOL dolls. Oh, and I have one more snack that I picked up. I got these little, <laughs> the little X's and O cookies. So that's the that brand and my kids love these of course they also have they usually have like the animal cracker looking ones so those are good too but anyways that's all the little snacks and things that I got that's really all that I picked up at Target besides my Target pickup all my household items I looked in like the I'm I was so back and forth I wanted to decorate for Valentine's Day but then I don't I'm thinking I might sometime in February start decorating for spring instead and that way I don't really have to worry about decorating for Valentine's Day. I just feel like it won't be up very long. I might put a few things in the kitchen or something like that but I'm pretty sure I already have some stuff. I just need to pull it out. Um, but all the Valentine's Day candy was also I think 20% off today so that's also why I went ahead and got this stuff. But that is all that I got and I'm about to go put all this stuff up really quick and then the kids should be home in a few minutes and I'm going to also show you guys my phone really quick so I can show you where I put in my macros but I'm supposed to have another little meal <laughs> it's and I'll, I'll show you those in just a second hold on all right so I realized I didn't even really tell you guys what I was doing but I talked about it in a video a while back when I did the faster way to fat loss program I did it for six weeks it was awesome I stuck with it the whole time we did um, you do intermittent fasting carb cycling you count macros and you do workouts whenever you can or whatever um, but I did that for that six weeks and then I kept going and I did the VIP and I counted macros for a good while and then honestly like the last month and a half maybe I quit counting and I don't know I just ate all the food I feel like since we went to Disney Disney was like okay I'm just gonna splurge here and then it just kept going Thanksgiving and all of that so Basically, I decided I wanted to start counting macros again just because I felt so blah. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the Faster Way to Fat Loss program again. And I just use the MyFitnessPal app. And so I'm going to show you guys. So uh, I need to fix this. All right. So if you look at my Fitness Pal, you can see I have entered all of my macros in for the day. I don't even look at calories, honestly. It is set to have calories, but the biggest goals are my macros. So the carbs, fats, and proteins. And basically you want all of these to be within plus or minus 10 each day. So my day is set, it looks good. 
and then if I click on this it will actually tell you what I have logged in and so I told you guys this is my coffee and I did I drank that this morning that did not break my fast because it was under 50 calories and um, no sugar then scrolling down so I already had the spicy chicken sandwich which by the way they did not give me a spicy chicken chicken sandwich it was our regular chicken sandwich I was so upset but it was still good so I need to change that but then I also have the hibachi shrimp bowl in here and that actually has like shrimp and veggies and noodles and shrimp sauce so good and that's the clean eats meal that I got um, and then down here I went ahead and put in two pieces of pizza from Marco's and I did the deluxe pizza so it's got like everything on it and then a yogurt and that one actually has this has let's see if I click on it it'll tell you oh, if I click on it it'll tell you like all the macros so there you can see it has 15 grams of protein zero fats and 10 carbs so usually what I do each day is I will go ahead and plan out whatever I'm having for dinner and then I will go back through the day and I'll do lunch and I'll do breakfast if I have a breakfast, which chicken, the chicken sandwich was basically my breakfast today. And then I'll plug in my snacks last so that way I know what I need to do to get my macros on point. So I just wanted to show you all that so that way you knew you can eat things as long as it stays in your macros, I mean, you're not hurting yourself. But as you can see, I was able to fit all that stuff into my macros today. I don't typically eat Chick-fil-A and um, pizza on the same day. <laughs> but since I was going to Target, I really wanted Chick-fil-A and that's just how it fit in my macros today. So um, I do wanna mention that if you are interested at all in Faster Way, I will leave a link in my description box. So that way if you wanna sign up or anything or even just check it out and see more about it, you can do that. I also have been posting what I'm eating each day over on Instagram. So if you wanna come hang out with me over there. And then my coach, her name is Brandy. I'll put her information down below too because she can answer any questions that you guys have about Faster Way. Um, but anyways, I'm about to go put their snacks and stuff up and then i'm gonna go get the kids so i think because i've talked so much in this video um i didn't want it to be too too long so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video here but i want to do a q a so if you guys have any questions for me i haven't done a q a in so stinking long and a lot of people over on instagram have been saying q a q a q a for team darley channel and so i figured that would be a fun one to do so if you have any questions for me, leave them below. I'll try to answer those in the next video. And then I do plan on doing, um, I'll sh I don't know. I just plan on vlogging a little bit more over here. Not necessarily like a bunch of stuff with the kids or anything, but I do want to share more of like what I've been shopping for or what I'm getting for the kids for Easter, things like that. So if you have any suggestions for videos that you would like to see over here, let me know those too. But I hope you guys have an awesome week and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.